white flowers with pops of gold, like true gold, and pops of orange and green. So we are gonna put that together. Um, when you come on, tell me hello, tell me how you're doing and where you're from. And if you would do me a favor, if you would like, we would love for you to sprinkle this video so your friends can see it. Um, we are live on both Facebook and YouTube, so if you have any questions um, during the broadcast, don't hesitate to ask those questions. Are we doing okay, Victoria? Yeah, I am. We're blinking in and out? No, I am trying to get the, it's hard to see. Miss Victoria is here with me, so forgive us a little bit for being a few minutes late. It's been one of those crazy afternoons. So we've been going crazy all afternoon, busy, busy. Um, and so um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask that on either platform, YouTube or Facebook. Miss Victoria can read those comments and I can try to answer any questions you might have. We're going to start out with, this is a container that we actually just rent. Um, I'm going to pull out this, this and show you. So this is what we call a disposable urn. This is a plastic urn that I bought from um, just the floral supply company. It actually comes in this white color and it has a bottom that pops on it. It is the most wonderful um, liner for these urns that we have. And so what we usually do is when we deliver this arrangement in this disposable urn, we will also take the bottom. That way, whoever wants to take the arrangement home, they can pull it out of the container, pop the bottom on it, and they can use this arrangement again. And then they just return our, um, our urn. So it works out wonderful. We're gonna start out, so this is fresh floral foam. In this container, it's about one and a third of a block of foam. I took a third of the block and I cut it and put it on the bottom of the container. And then I added one full block of um, floral foam on top. And then I had a few little extra pieces that I just kind of wedged down in there just so that my foam wouldn't rock back and forth while it's being delivered. We also, um, we soaked our foam before we added it to our container and we taped it into the container really well so it's not going to go anywhere. Then what you're going to need to do is fill that reservoir with fresh water so that it'll last longer. Um, flowers are thirsty and they want some water so be sure to, when you're using a container like this, make sure it has a good reservoir that holds water and that you fill that reservoir um, before you start arranging. I'm gonna start out with some palm. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna strip some of the bottom fronds off because it's really large and I don't need it quite that big. So I'm going to take it and strip a few of the fronds off the bottom of the palm. We have a lot of hellos. Hello, friends. I'm so glad you're here today with us. I'll tell you, I came, <laughs> we came in and I feel a little bit anxious this afternoon. It's just been one of those days where just trying to get all of our, all of our everything done. Um, we have, we had how many arm bouquets, Victoria, that went out this afternoon? I bet we did. More than 22. <laughs> yeah, I bet we did like, 30 yeah. arm bouquets this afternoon. And so we have just been, Victoria and I have just been running. Um, say a prayer for Callie's husband, Callie's husband, Daniel. Um, he has pneumonia. And so he was in the hospital. Um, she sent me a message. He went to the hospital yesterday. He went to the emergency room just feeling terrible. And um, so they went ahead and put him in the hospital overnight, and he was supposed to come home today. So say a little prayer for them. Um, we just pray he gets to feeling better soon. I know that that can't be fun. Um, Miss Verna asks, what is this arrangement for? So this is for a retirement party, and they are going to put this, these flowers on the buffet table. Okay, so I have my palm branches in there and you can see that um, I've just put them in the arrangement all the way around. Next, I'm gonna come in with some leather leaf. So I have a little leather leaf fern. 
We're just gonna fill in some of that space with our leather. And I'm just taking those that greenery, I'm just using my floral knife and cutting it at an angle, and I'm just tucking it right down into that floral foam. They're all sending prayers. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. And I will certainly let her know. It's no fun not to feel good, is it? Um, Simona, correct me if I misunderstood. I think she said she's been waiting two hours for us to get on or something. I really? Think I think that's what she's saying. So we usually come on live on Thursday, Tuesdays and Thursdays. We come live at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, so I apologize. Um, were we too late? What time is it right now? It's 4.11. But she said a little smiley face. Oh, so she's just been waiting. She's yeah. been waiting anxiously for us to come on. Yeah. I was like, I don't think we're two hours late, are we? No, 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 no. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Now I'm really anxious, right? <laughs> All right, so there's my leather leaf and my fern, I mean my palm branches. Lay my leather over here. Next I'm gonna come in with just a little bit of myrtle. So myrtle is um, these long branches of foliage. I really like myrtle. I like the smell and I like the look that it gives. Now, it is very woody. The stem itself is pretty woody, so it's kind of hard to cut with your floral knife. I'm having to back up because I'm getting too tall. And I'm sorry, I'm hiding back here today. I'm just hiding behind the, the container. All right, so I put about, this is going to be five branches of myrtle. Oh, Simona, is it midnight for you? Oh, goodness, bless her heart. She's staying up all night to watch us. Okay, so next what we're going to do, I'm going to slide this over so you can see my face. Is How bad is that? Um, can you see my face? Okay, good, because I thought I keep playing peekaboo back behind the mm -hmm. <laughs> arrangement. Okay, so I have my foliage in this container. I'm going to go in here and grab some plant shine real quick and shine the foliage because it's a little dull, so give me two seconds. Hello, everyone. Miss Linda, hello from Pennsylvania. Went to Bible study, then mode, and now watching you. Whoever is sick, hope they feel better. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay, so this is called Green Glow. Green Glow is just a plant shine, and what that's going to do is it's just going to take the dullness off of that foliage. Um, because foliage comes in here and it's a little dull, and so if I add a little plant shine to it, it's going to kind of shine it up and make it look pretty. The first thing I'm going to start with, so she asked for gold. So I took, um, I took some Safari Sunset, which Safari Sunset is naturally a maroon color. I took some Safari Sunset and I took some Rust-Oleum um, paint and I got it in a gold, a metallic finish gold paint. And I just spray painted this Safari Sunset with gold paint. So this is going to add the gold that they asked for in this arrangement. Um, oh, Simona says, yes, it, it's late for her. It's, I think it is about that. Oh, goodness. She says, but I'm happy and I go to sleep peaceful. Oh, thank you, friend. <laughs> thank you so much for being here with us. So I'm just taking this Safari Sunset I'm cutting it at an angle and I'm just tucking it right into this arrangement. Now, this is regular paint that I bought from Walmart, I believe. You can buy it from Walmart or any of the, um, anywhere that they sell paint. Um, I just bought regular paint. Um, and because Safari Sunset's more of a foliage, it's not hurting these um, flowers at all. That gold's not gonna hurt them at all. You can paint them any color you need them to be, but the gold really is fun. 
Um, Allison says that Safari Sunset came out great being sprayed. Isn't that nice? It is such a nice, it really does look nice, I thought. Okay, next I'm going to come in with some flowers. So, we have some white snapdragons. So, Miss Victoria, thank heavens she was here to help me because we were kind of in a tizzy trying to get all our flowers out. These are snapdragons. So, these actually came from Budsy. And I want you to look at the difference in the stem from some of the snapdragons we've had before. So, this stem is almost the thickness of my thumb. So, it's a big stem of snapdragons. I want to say these are very likely California grown snapdragons. California snapdragons are always a better um, snap than South American snapdragons. So I'm going to take those snaps, cut them at an angle, and just push them right down into that floral foam. Um. Cookie says, no problem, whatever time it is, we are devoted to you. I've learned so much from you. <laughs> oh, you are so kind. Thank you so much for being here with us. Um, Susan says, happy to finally see you live. Yay, Miss Susan, I'm glad you're here. Um, Kiana Scott on YouTube says, hello from Montgomery, Alabama. Thanks for your help with my first funeral flower. It turned, oh. It turned out beautifully and the family was very pleased. Oh, I am so glad. I am so glad. <laughs> Miss Mary Lou says, now I can pay attention. I was watching the end of a good movie called Nonstop with Liam Neeson. One eye on you, Monty, and one eye on the movie. <laughs> All right, so there's our snapdragons tucked into that arrangement. Next, we're going to come in with our, let's see, let's see, white hydrangeas. We've got three of those, so we're going to tuck those in. So we've got some big white hydrangeas. Um, Barbara Neal says, hey, I think I caught you live. Yay, you did, Miss Barbara. Thank you for being here, friend. Okay, yes, I could dip these in quick dip. They have been well hydrated. They are very healthy. I do not have quick dip in here. So I am not gonna dip them today, but no worries, they're quality. We shouldn't have any problems. And if I pull it out of the cooler in the morning and they don't look good, we will replace them. So I'm just pulling these hydrangeas, removing any of that foliage, and I'm cutting it at an angle with my floral knife, and I'm just pressing it right over in to that floral foam, so you can kind of see. We had three hydrangeas. Next, we're going to come in with some spider moms. So we got in some pretty white spiders. Beautiful white spider moms. These actually seem to have grown in the cooler. So when you get them in, y'all, they come in with this little this little netting over the flower. And so when you pull it off, they kind of look very ragged and you think, oh mercy, they're not gonna get pretty. But these are actually very pretty. I love the look of those pretty spiders. So I'm gonna take my floral knife, cut it at an angle. Um, Chris Fry says, I like how your phone rings on a lot, of, how your phone rings on a lot of lives. You guys do great work and everybody is calling to get your flowers. Oh. <laughs> Uh, Miss Marianne says, left the bubble bowl arrangement you posted earlier today. Oh, thank you. I did that several weeks back, and I found that video, and I was like, I need to share that video. Why have I got that still in my phone? It's so bad, though, y'all. I have enough videos in this phone to fill up all of my space, <laughs> so I have to try to use them and get them all out of my phone. I've been trying to do better with reels and, you know, little short videos. I'm not really great at that, and so that's something I've been trying to get better at. Um, Charlotte asks, how long do you have to soak the floral foam? You don't have to soak it very long. Um, all you have to do is lay it. So I fill up a little tub, like almost like a little dish tub. Um, and I fill it with water, and then you just lay the block of foam right on top of that 
um, water. And you will watch it. You'll see how it starts to fill with water. So it's a lighter green. When you lay it on top of that water, it just soaks right down in it. It'll, it'll almost sink right down into that water. And when it sinks, you're pretty, um, you're pretty sure that it has, um, it is completely soaked. Um, and most often it is. Very, very, very seldom do I have any issues with, um, with bubbles in the, in my Oasis, like little um, dry pockets. Um, the one way to guarantee you won't have little dry pockets in that foam is to not push it down. Let it soak on its own and you should not have any problems. This is a white button mum. Um, so I'm going to tuck some of these buttons in there. Um, Julie says, I wish I could get greenery at a reasonable price. Today, a small bundle was $10 at the grocery, so my arrangements here at home won't have any greenery until something grows in the yard. Where is she located? I'm not sure. The one thing I have found about greenery, if you have a cooler, greenery lasts for a long, long time. As long as you take care of it, it will last forever. And so even if you bought your greenery like in a several, several bundles, you know, and got a good price on them, if you would take care of it and keep it in a, in a box or, or even cut it and put it in a bucket, it's going to last a good long time. Um, here, our foliage has really started to grow back, which is a blessing because I was a little concerned after we had such a hard frost over the winter. Um, but we do have a lot of our foliage coming back. I love Nandina out of the yard. It lasts forever. And it's kind of a pretty little lacy looking foliage. But yeah, everything's expensive. I spoke with a friend earlier this week and she had posted on her page some prices that she had paid for flowers. And I sent her a message and I said, girl, let me help you. <laughs> and I sent her some information about Budsy. Now, you would have to really be a florist um, and need a good many flowers to be able to use Budsy. But the quality is fantastic and the price is unbeatable. So if you are in need of a good um, source for flowers, yell at me because I am so happy to share some information with you. Because um, I'm gonna be honest, I can't imagine having to pay the prices some of these people are paying for flowers. So call me or send me a message um, in Messenger and I am so happy to share some information with you um, because it's ridiculous. <laughs> And I don't know how we're able to make a living when flowers are so expensive. Okay, next we're gonna come in with these beautiful white oriental lilies. Now lilies come in lots of varieties, but um, these types of lilies come in an Asiatic, which is a smaller lily, and an oriental, which is the larger lily. For me personally, I really prefer an oriental over an Asiatic. It's a larger, um, showier flower and it smells beautiful. Um, and so I'm just going to tuck a few of these lilies in. Um, Christy says, I think that friend was me, lol. Oh, there you go, friend. Well, you know, and I tell you, I um, met someone at my business retreat um, that sent me, yeah, it was you, Christy. That was you, Christy. There was another one that was on Facebook that shared um, Facebook information. Um, and she had just posted some of her invoices, and I was like, oh, girl, we can work on this. We can work on this. We're going to fix this. But it's hard. It's hard. And you want to be fair, and you want everything. You know, it's just, it's important to take care of our customers, too. And we want our customers to be able to enjoy flowers. Um, Shelly Armstrong says, hello, Monty and Victoria. So thankful to catch you live. This is exquisite. Thank you. You, you look beautiful in yellow. Thank oh. you always for sharing your <laughs> gift. Such a blessing. Oh, you're so welcome. Thank you for being here with us. Oh, Julie, who talked? who's talking about the $10 greenery yes. at the grocery store? Um, she says she is in Forestdale, Missouri. Missouri. Is she a florist? Or is she, um, does she just do it for me? I don't know. 
Um, Ivy Nichols says Budsy is amazing. Thank you, Monty, for helping. Oh, me. Ivy, I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Okay, so I tucked those lilies in there. Next, we're going to come in with Trick. I love Trick. I don't know if you've seen Trick. So Trick is called Green Trick Dianthus. Dianthus is in the carnation family. So often um, you will see a carnation and it has this little type of foliage. Well, Green Trick, somebody's calling us. Um, it doesn't matter, I don't recognize the number so I'm not worried about it, we'll call, I'll call them back. Um, so Green Trick Dianthus reminds me a whole lot of Dr. Seuss trees. It's just fun little, um, almost little pom-poms. They're the neatest fun little flower. Um, there okay. it is. I was gonna say, go to voicemail. <laughs> Um, Christy says, I spoke with Budsy today. I'm so excited to try them out. Oh, Christy, I'm so glad. I'm so glad. And girl, if you've got questions, you know my phone number. Call me. Call me. Uh, Margaret Lynch asks if you had a nice weekend. Miss Margaret, I had a wonderful weekend. Now I was glad to be home. <laughs> that may be somebody needing us. Um, I'm not sure if that's the same phone number, but they must need us. Miss Margaret, I had a wonderful time. I learned so much, but I am so glad to be home with y'all. Um, you just don't realize how much you miss home. <laughs> I tell you honestly, I am the middle child of three children and I am just, I get lonely. I was at, um, so I was in the hotel all by myself and I spent the night three nights all by myself which I'm not I don't do much by myself you know I have animals at home so I can't even shower alone because the cat's in there with me and so you just don't realize how lonely you are hey, Mom, yes yeah how many um how many are, are there a lot of them I need a handful for the next for this other piece but yeah they can have the okay. they can have some Okay, so I tucked that green trick, and you can kind of see how it's kind of sticking out here and there. It's just kind of fun and cute in that arrangement. Next, we're going to come in with some orange spray roses. So she wanted pops of orange. So I'm gonna do five stems of orange spray roses, but I do have orange um, pincushion protea. So I'm gonna tuck some of that in too. Um, but we're gonna do five stems of these little orange spray roses tucked in. get them in the morning? She, she needed red. Oh, she needed red? Yeah. Okay. Well, we can't help you. She got any spray paint? <laughs> You're like, I don't well, know. Um, Janet said that was fine, but they, they don't need them. Um, Julie says, no, just flowers in my home, not a florist. I just love flowers in the house. I found a grocery that has three bundles for $15, oh. so I work with what they have. That is nice. And isn't it fun? You have to kind of be creative, and that's the fun part. Be creative with what they give you and just kind of figure it out, which is so fun to do. All right, so we're having some pops of orange. Um, Bernice Drool says, hello, Monty and Victoria from Florida, where we have spent an exhausting day finishing off packing up our home. One more day in Florida, and then we will, we will be moving to Minnesota. I hope Callie's husband makes a speedy recovery. Oh, thank you, thank you. Well, good luck headed to Minnesota from Florida. You're going to freeze to death, friend. It's going to be so cold. <laughs> but we, we are going to say prayers for a easy transition and that... You get there safely. Wow, but that's going to be a whole different ball game, isn't it? I can't imagine going to Minnesota from Mississippi, and we've got colder weather than y'all do, so yeah. Okay, this is called Pincushion Protea. So you can see this Safari Sunset. Safari Sunset is also in the Protea family, but look at this little pincushion. The Pincushion Protea, um, we often get it in a mixed box, which is the most fun way to get pincushions. Um, but I get it in an orange, I get it in a red, and I get it in yellow. 
when it comes in our mix box. Now the only problem with Pincushion Protea is it's short. It's little bitty short um, pieces, but I think we can nestle those into this arrangement and give us some fun little pops of this pretty color. Um, Miss Shirley and Miss Claudia want to know what this arrangement is for. So this arrangement is going on a buffet table at a, um, hey man, go outside. Do not get in the litter box right now in the middle of our video, please. Mm -hmm. Oh, Seth. Oh, no, he's getting in. So y'all forgive us. Um, this is for a dinner party. Um, it is going to be for a reception for a retirement. So it's kind of fun with pops of oranges, um, some whites, some greens. So there we go. There is our Protea. And I'm going to shoo him. Okay. Um, Christy Everybody says it's warm and sunny today in Wisconsin, so hopefully warm in Minnesota too. <laughs> I hope so. You know, yesterday it was so chilly. Victoria and I both wore too many clothes. So we've both got too many clothes on. We've had to have the air conditioner on because we've both been mm -hmm. hot today. You know, in Mississippi you really never know, so you always kind of have to wear layers. But it's been a cooler spring than average, and so it's been kind of strange. Okay, so I have some roses. So these are standard roses. I want to say this variety is called green tea and it's just a really soft apple green I am going to wire them so I'm taking about a half of a um, a piece of 21 gauge wire I'm gonna take it and press it right into the calyx which is the little swollen part up underneath that rose and I'm just going to wrap that wire right around that stem now what that's going to do for me is it's going to help keep their little heads hey Hey, Osa, he is so working. He's working so hard. Come on, Boo, that's enough. Thank you. Thank you. Go on. Go on in yonder. Go. Shoot. Shoot. Mm -hmm. Don't get mad at me. Shoot. <laughs> um, Jan says, obsessed with the pin cushion protea. Aren't they thing. fantastic? Yes. The, I, I apologize about the cat. Everybody needs some technical difficulties. <sighs> Okay, so I am taking and I'm removing any of those um, thorns off. <laughs> he had to come back in and finish what he was doing. Um, and I am just taking that wire and I'm going to wire each of those stems. Um, Hannah is watching from Bushnell. She says, loving the live and adore this arrangement. I love it when you do the large arrangement. Thank you so much, Hannah. Thank you, ma'am. Oh, Miss Linda Sue says the kitty is fine. We can't hear him. Oh, oh well. I'm so worried. I'm like, oh, mercy. Mercy, mercy. Everybody needs children and kit cats and dogs and all of the stuff. <laughs> um, Lorianne Soriano says, beautiful. I love catching your lives and learning. Thank you, Lorianne. I'm glad you're here with me. And learning so much for my small business, Gravesite Florals and more by Lala. Oh, thank you, friend. Thank you. Okay, so I have wired my roses. And I'm going to take my floral knife. I'm cutting that, that stem at an angle. And I'm going to tuck those right into that floral foam. Um, Esther Salazar says, everything you do is exquisite, and you're always so cheerful. Hi from Pasadena, Texas. Oh, you are so kind. Thank you. Allison says, life would be so boring without our fur babies. Oh, girl, I can't imagine life without them. I don't know if you saw that picture of um, Binks when I got home. Um, I got home about 9, 30, 10 o'clock on Saturday night and then on Sunday I came in from church and I just laid down I was gonna take a nap he said on my chest all afternoon and I'm like dude come on now you don't have to be so close but he did he had to be so close <laughs> Owen said I couldn't leave anymore because he worried him to death <laughs> <laughs> um, Joe Mackey says the arrangement is so beautiful love Thank how the you. apricot Apricot and gold pop with the foliage and white. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. 
So now we are going to come in with some hypericum berries and then we're gonna spray paint some more foliage gold and tuck it in there. So these are green hypericum berries. I'm removing any foliage that doesn't look pretty. I'm just popping that. I just popped it with my fingernail. Allison says, oh, he missed you while you were away. Oh, he's so rotten. Everything I have is rotten. <laughs> Everything I have is rotten. I wouldn't have it any other way. I want them rotten, but whew, some days. Um, Julie says, my goodness, you need a step stool. I know, right? It's getting to there. Um, on YouTube, Shelly says, good evening, Monia and Victoria. Beautiful arrangement. Thank you, Shelly. Thank you for watching. We're glad you're here with us. And Butterfly Kisses says, Hello, Monty. First live, but I've been watching you for a while and have learned a lot here from Central Florida. Oh, I'm so glad. Thank you for being here. Okay, so there's our flowers. We got our flowers in the arrangement. Oh, we went dark. Okay, while you're working on that, so Victoria's going to fix that camera because if that camera runs for 30 minutes or more, it's always going to go dark. So I apologize. Okay, so I am coming, whoop, I have got some aspidistra leaves. Are we looking funny? Are we better? All right, we're back, we're back. I'm sorry guys, you know this silly camera. Okay. So these are called aspidistra leaves. They're just large, fun leaves. Um, now let me tell you, I do recommend, so don't do this necessarily. Um, I do recommend going outside to spray paint things. Um, but I did want to show you how well this foliage paints. So I am just taking that gold metallic finish paint and it's Rust-Oleum. And all I'm doing is just adding a little bit of paint to those leaves. So I'm just going to take that leaf and I am just going to tuck it right down into that floral foam. And you don't have to completely, I mean, I'm just kind of putting pops of color. So just some pops. says, hello ladies, glad to catch you live. That looks amazing. So glad you're here. Thank you for watching. Um, Charlotte says, beautiful, you are so happy when you create. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Ladine says, what would be the price for an arrangement this size? So this one, um, they are renting the large urn. This, this arrangement's $225. So I'm taking a little bit of this eucalyptus and I'm tucking it kind of right there on the lip so that it'll kind of drip. It kind of softens the edge so it doesn't look like the flowers are just sitting right on top. Um, now I will go back and add more of those gold leaves. I just kind of wanted to show you how you paint them. It's really so very easy to paint them. Um, Dawn says, looks great, and Margaret Lynch says, whoop, money. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, friends. Um, Joe Mackey asks, what type of eucalyptus is that, please? So this eucalyptus is silver dollar eucalyptus, and then this is a um, willow eucalyptus. I don't have very much of it, but I thought that I would add just a few little stems of it. So that willow, look, willow euc looks a lot like a weeping willow, um, which I really love a weeping willow tree. Um, Jan says, this arrangement was gorgeous already, but adding the gold to the leaves has taken it over the top. Isn't that kind of fun? It's kind of fun and kind of different. 
Oh, and Miss Mary Lou says, wow, that is so beautiful. Love the gold leaves. Thank you, thank you. And so, yeah, I will keep adding um, just a few more of these leaves. I also have, um, I painted a few stems of Aurelia. But you look at these. Look how fun that is. It kind of looks tropical, doesn't it? Now, I want you to know that you can take um, any of these, any of the foliages, and you can add paint. I have a friend that owns a flower shop here in town, and she's the most creative. Um, she'll take and paint all sorts of leaves and different things. Um, and to me, that's the neatest look. Um, but it's kind of fun and different. It gives you that extra little pop. So there we go. There is our, and I'm going to add a few more of those gold leaves, but there is our finished product. Linda says that arrangement would be at least $400 here in Louisiana. And let me tell you the reason it's not that much. It's strictly because of where I source my product. Um, so most of these flowers, if I tell you the retail cost, um, you might pass out. But um, because I can source them for such an inexpensive price, I can sell them for much less expensive. So my roses, we retail our roses here at our shop for $3 a stem. Um, my white hydrangeas retail for $5 a stem. Our Snapdragons retail for $3 a stem. My Spider Mums, I got them on a, such a um, good deal. I can retail those this week for $2 a stem. Um, what else? Our, our Green Trick, I got it on such a good, good price. I can do it for $2 a stem. Safari Sunset, $3. Those Button Mums, $1 a stem. But it's only because I'm sourcing my flowers and I'm able to get them for such a good price. So I promise when I tell you how much flowers are, it's not because I'm not doing a, an appropriate markup. Because in my business, in any business, but especially here at our flower shop, and I preach it so much that, um, that it's something that is very important to us. It is so, so, so important to have a correct markup on your florals. Um, and if you don't have the right markup, you are not gonna make any money. But if you can get them at such a good price, I personally love to pass that, um, that good price over to my customers. So if I was paying um, wholesale prices for flowers, absolutely, this is probably a $500 arrangement. But because I was able to get all of these florals for such a good price, I'm able to give them a quality, a quality beautiful arrangement for a better price. Now, I, um, I can get these flowers, not all of them, like the, the spiders I can't always get for and sell for $2 a stem, and the buttons I can't always sell for $2 a stem. But I have my, um, I have my lilies, not my lilies, I have my hydrangeas and my roses and my spray roses all on a standing. So they're always that good price. Um, so that's just the reason why I'm able to sell it for this price. But if you want to know um, some more information about how to order your flowers from Budsy, let me know. I'm so happy to share that information and I'm happy to even show you invoices so that you know that I'm not telling a fib. Because that's one of those things where you're like, hey, that isn't true. <laughs> Because it's almost, it's almost, it seems untrue, but I promise it's true. Any more questions, Miss Victoria? Um, Miss Marianne asks, does it also depend on what part of the country you live in? I think things here in the mid mid Atlantic are more costly. I think it really depends on your shipping too. So most of my things, the reason I can get things shipped, I get I, my. My words won't come. I apologize. I have all of my flowers. Um, I have got, um, I have worked out a deal with our local wholesaler and I ride the floral truck. So I just pay her the truck cost per case. So I'm not paying like a FedEx charge or to have them flown in. Now I will say if I have time, I would have them flown in before I'd have them FedEx to me. But even having them FedExed to me, they're less than I could pay at a local wholesaler. So I was looking at the wholesale um, prices that a lady posted the other day, and like I'm, I don't know how she can even have flowers in her flower shop. They were so expensive. Um, so the cost of I use Solidago Aster, Aster all day every day, right? 
Um, I sell Solidate Go Aster for one dollar stem. That's marked up. That's my that is retail cost or retail price on Solidate Go Aster. She was paying wholesale ninety cents a stem. I don't know how you do that. How do you ever have filler flower in your store? Um, so yeah, I mean my Solidago Aster retails for one dollar a stem, and we use it like water, don't we, Victoria? <laughs> We use a solid ego in our shop, so I can't imagine paying paying nine dollars a bundle. I'd be sick. I don't know how she does it. Um, yeah. Now I did bid on some of these flowers on Flower Buyer, and so the only difference, the only thing about Flower Buyer though, is that you don't know what you're ever gonna get because it's just kind of hit or miss. Because I'm only gonna bid when I can get it as low as possible. I bought a box of these um, button daisies. Um, and I was able to get the bundle for cheaper than I could sell a stem when I buy them from um, Budsy. So I was like, what? But I was able to get the bundle for cheaper than I could sell it by the stem when I buy it from Budsy. So it was kind of crazy. Um, but yeah, that's fun. If you've never been on Flower Buyer, it's so fun. So, so fun. Um, and you can get some neat stuff. That's where I got the Pincushion Protea. Um, I got the green trick. Um, I got the white buttons. I got the spider mums, and I got the lilies. Um, but now when you buy from Flower Buyer, you're gonna buy in a large quantity. So if you have friends in your, um, in your local community that you can split flowers with, hook up with them. Split some of these flowers. Get a really great price. Um, for me, we go through enough flowers that I usually don't have a problem. I've got a great cooler, so I'm able to hold flowers um, and keep them healthy for a little bit longer. The one thing I will say that is the very best about buying direct, buying from Budsy, is I know that I'm getting those flowers um, directly from the farm. So they have not set in someone's cooler um, in hopes that they would sell. So they've not sat there for however long um, waiting until someone ordered them. I'm getting them about four days after they're cut. And so um, I'm absolutely getting them as quickly as possible. And I love that. Um, the quality, they hold up well. And I'm very, very, very seldom do I have any issues. I will say the only time that I have had issues was when we had them flown in on cargo um, planes. And if those planes are warm, like stock isn't happy on a plane. Um, and so I knew that those had to hit a truck because the trucks are always a, a cooler truck and the planes are not. Um, but sometimes I've had to worry about quality there, but I learned which products not to put on the plane. So it works out fine. Um, Jane Kennedy says, absolutely gorgeous. How do I order from Budsy? Um, send me a message and I will send you um, the information. I will message you all the information. I'll send you um, my rep Donna's personal info. I mean, I'll send you her personal phone number and you can call and talk to her. Um, but she is happy to walk you through everything. She sounds a lot like me. Um, she is from Mississippi. So she sounds a whole lot like me. So when you talk to her, you're gonna be talking to someone that sounds a lot like us. Um, Diane says, is watching from England. She said, just joined. We'll have to go back to the start. It is beautiful. Is it for customers? It is. Yes, ma'am. This is going to be on a um, food table at a retirement reception. Um, Lorinda Massey asks, have you always had the big cooler from the beginning of your shop? Um, we have always had a large cooler. Now, my cooler in our first shop was not as large as the cooler I have here. Um, our cooler in our first shop, I really don't even know the dimensions, but it wasn't um, it wasn't huge. It was plenty big for when we were that size. When we came into this flower shop, we actually, so this is an old house. Um, it was a home that had three bedrooms. And when we came in, it was uh, it had been turned into a daycare. So they had knocked a wall out between the two bedrooms in the middle of the house. And when they knocked that wall out, they were able to use that as one large room. When we came, when we bought this, this house, we um, did some measurements of that bedroom 
and we had um, a walk-in cooler built specifically for that room. And so when you have those coolers shipped to you, they're shipped in panels. And so you go in and you build it panel by panel. And so it's very easy to bring into the house and build it. And so um, this is the biggest cooler we've ever had, but it works wonderful. It's perfect for us. The only time it's not perfect is during holiday seasons, um, like Mother's Day and Valentine's Day. You never have enough space, but on an everyday week, you have plenty. So, um, Deanna says, Moni, that is gorgeous. Are they all real flowers? These are. They're all real flowers. Now, the gold is real foliage that I painted gold, um, but yes, ma'am, they're all fresh flowers. Um, and Sherry, Sally, says, yes, please, share. I need some help with this. I think she was talking about Pricing. Pricing. Sherry, send me a um, send me a message. Is she on Facebook or is she on YouTube? On Do you? Facebook. Send me a message. Send me a personal message, and I am happy to help you in any way I can. I think that's what it was about. Yeah, but send me a message and let me know what you're um, what you're asking, and I am so happy to answer it. I think that's it. They're saying it's beautiful. Guys, thank you for being here with us this afternoon. Thank you for being patient with us. I know that there's times when you think, that, Monty, she can't get it all together, and usually she can't. I'm an artist. I just tell my husband all the time, honey, I'm an artist. <laughs> That's a good excuse anyway, right? Guys, thank you so much for being here with us this afternoon. If you have any questions about anything we do, you know you can send us a message. And we are so happy to answer. If I don't answer, Victoria answers or Jason. If it's long-winded, it's usually Jason. Um, but yes, we are so happy to answer any questions about the flower shop. And we are so thankful for each and every one of you. If you would do us a great big favor, if you're watching this video on replay, please put hashtag replay play in the comments. We just like to know how many people are watching live and how many people get to watch it on replay. And if you do me a great big favor and sprinkle this video, I would be so thankful. Y'all have a wonderful evening and we will see you tomorrow. Thanks guys.